Well, this is the muck and mud before yesterday's storm because the horses came in. And something I do is I'm always reseeding. And it used to be I used to hand collect from my really old uh, species sward that I have long grass up over there. And um, I would harvest seeds every year. Now I've had been having wonderful presents of wonderful mixtures of seeds and look at all the different varieties. There's vetches and sandfoils and clovers and bird's foot trefoil and yarrows and all kinds of things in this mix. So, and different clovers, purples and white clovers, different varieties and plantains. So you can hear There's a bit of bird song going on. So yes, there will be a lot of eating this. And why this time of year, and particularly doing here, is because the horses will walk it in and walk it out through the field. There's a couple of areas that I'm gonna spread it over there as well. But so the if I spread it here, like that, the horses will walk it in. Yes, a few birds will eat it, but also they will walk it in over the field and give the pressure. So it's just a way of replenishing the complexity of plant life in the field on a regular basis or every winter and spring. So throughout the winter, I take these buckets of seeds and spread them on the muddy patches. And people say, oh, that's a waste of money. That's a waste of... No, it's how I'm keeping the biodiversity of plant life going and thriving in the times we're living in. The more diverse you have, diversity you have, the more likely everything will survive. So, you know, now you can hear there's a lot of birds. They're gonna be very happy. They're passing the messages. Hey lads, she's spreading lots of food for us. But at the same time, I'm walking it in. So the horses will walk it in. So the birds will get some, the soil will get some, the horses will get some, a lot of stuff, a lot of different, the dogs, it'll be in the dog's feet, etc. So this is one of the ways that I keep spreading my diversity. You can see the horses roll there. So if I spread seed there, it'll be in their coats. They'll roll somewhere else. It's a kind of a natural regeneration as much as I can do as a farmer um, to regenerate the biodiversity of pasture land plant life. Now, as we walk over here under the walnut tree, you can see where the electric fence is and you can see how the horses have made a path. So what I'm gonna do is throw seed all in this area and particularly their path. And then they will spread it because that path is only temporary. It's only while that electric fence is there and for the next number of weeks. And then that path will disappear and will be lovely chewed up ground, which the seeds can germinate and thrive in for next spring. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Oh, the excitement of a big field with no scary horses in it at the moment. The horses are inside at the moment. I'm gonna move their fence and everything and then let them out. Okay, all set to let the horses out. You can see they have this area to graze. This was the last time they were out, which was not yesterday, but the day before. And I've sown lots of seeds. So now I'm gonna go and release the horses.
They're going to come galloping down the hill and out into the field, skidding around and spreading my seeds for me. Everybody's screaming. They've already had breakfast. I'm letting the horses out now. So they are just going to take off when I open this gate because they know they're going to gallop down to fresh grass and through all my grass seed. So Off they go. Inca making sure that they do go. <laughs> You're stuck. You gonna jump? So you can see they skidded down. The ground is so soaking wet. They gallop down here to skid, to slow down. Look at that. Brakes. And then over this and into the field. And you can see they galloped straight across, going through my seeds. Look at this, straight across and down to where they're grazing to get to the fresh food. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Galloping up and down the fresh grass, which isn't much help to their grazing. Anyway, I've got to go and get back to paperwork and some writing. The horses are done for the day. Isn't that right? Yes. Come on, let's go. Come on, pups! Inca! Maya! Java! Come on! Out of pups! Good dogs! Java's so happy without his collar. He's a real dog again. Boy Java. Yeah. Yeah, boy. They're already saying they want to come in for the night. We've had a lovely day outside and the evening is drawing in. Do you want to go in? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? My beautiful girl. Okay. Whoopsie Daisy. There. You have to back up. Go on, back, 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 way. Good girl. <laughs> and they're gone. With Miss Daisy Rose trotting on behind. I'll let you guys out in a sec. I just have to close the gate. 
that the horses are in. In for the night, ladies. Yeah. In for the night. Oh dear. There we go. All muddy. So she might well have rolled in those seed beds. Is that right? You don't roll though, do you? You guys roll. Okay. Time to let them out. I have to close this gate first. It's always gates being closed. And gates being opened. Oh, I got it before I close, because see, I have to close that gate there. That has to go across there. But before that can go there, I have to get these guys back up the laneway. So it's one of those puzzles of which gate do you close when, for whom. Have you guys finished? Have you finished? Go on. Come on. Inca's chasing a rat somewhere, so she's going to miss out on herding today. Come on. And if Inga's not here, Maya doesn't pick up the slack. Come on! Whew. So, the jigsaw puzzle continues. Ooh, look at those gray clouds. I think it's due to, we're gonna get more rain tonight. Yes, babies. But you're gonna have a lovely time in here. Okay, and there, I've got to take two hands to do this gate. Are you having a lovely time there? Lounging around in the dry? Okay. You guys can come in when it gets wet if you want. So you can be in and or out. Okay. See you guys. Come on, Java. Come on, pup. Come on, Java. Jump, 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 Java. Come on. Come, hey, hey, pup. Come on, pup. Come on, good boy. Come on. You've got to learn how to come when cold. It's a very vital part of being a dog in this dog pack. It's coming when you're cold. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. And lock this gate. And that gate's locked. Maya, come on. Hey, pup. Come on, Maya. Come on, girl. Maya has her own exit strategy. Yeah, you can never, girl. You can never, girl. Yeah. Okay, job's done. Job's done for the day. We can now go in for the evening. Come on. Yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah.